preparing the halter. Keep the lead in your hand to prevent yourself or the horse tripping over it. Keep the halter neat and tidy in your hand to facilitate putting on the halter without having to figure out or look where every section fits when you reach the animal. Never roll the lead around your hand as in an emergency case you will not be able to release the lead. Rather fold the lead in your hand. The various sections of the halter are indicated in the picture for your convenience. Method 1. Arm over neck. Approach the horse on her left side. Slip your right arm quietly over the neck, close to the withers, and grasp the free end of the headpiece in your right hand. Your left hand should be holding the rest of the halter. You now have the horse's neck encircled by your arms and the halter. Now, holding the nose piece of the halter in your left hand, slip the nose piece over the horse's nose. You can now bring your right hand back over the horse's neck to the left side and tie up the halter buckle. Always make sure that the halter fits correctly. Method 2. Arm under neck. Approach the horse on her left side. Slip your right arm quietly under the neck and place the free end of the headpiece over the neck of the animal. Catch the pole section with the left hand while holding the buckle. Now, holding the nose piece of the halter in your left hand, slip the nose piece over the horse's nose. You can now tie up the halter buckle. Check that the halter fits correctly. Method 3. Controlling the nose. Approach the horse on her left side. Control the nose of the horse by placing your right hand over the bridge of the animal's nose, that is, the bony part, from underneath the head. The rest of the halter will be in your left hand. Now, holding the nose piece of the halter in your left hand, slip the nose piece over the horse's nose. Slide the right hand down the cheek piece, along the pole piece, and place the pole piece over the horse's head, behind the ears. Release the left hand and grab the pole piece. You can now tie up the halter buckle. Check that the halter fits correctly. Always make sure that the halter fits correctly. To check for fit, 1. The headpiece should lie immediately behind the ears. 2. The noseband should lie at least two fingers' breadth below the end of the facial crest to avoid damaging the nerve which lies just below it, but not so low as to slip off the nose or interfere with the nostrils. 3. Between the halter and the throat, there should be one hand's breadth. 4. Between the nose and the nose band, there should be space for two fingers. 5. The cheek section should be clear from the eye region. Thank you.